Who was Jack the Ripper? The short answer is, we'll never really know. No archive in history has been scoured to the same extent as the Metropolitan Police files on Jack the Ripper at the National Archives in London. Newspapers have been mined for information, DNA has been tested on shawls, paintings have been bought and destroyed, and yet we're really no closer to an answer about exactly who he was. And that's not actually very surprising, because Jack the Ripper is just one case amongst many of women who were working um, selling sex, or poor women who were victims of violence and murder, and who have been completely forgotten. Not least because they were vulnerable, because they were poor, and because drives to crack down on prostitution in the late 19th century pushed them underground and made them invisible to historians in the future. This was a system that prioritized morality over safety, and it really started in the late 19th century at the same time that Jack the Ripper was killing women in the East End. The archive can actually tell us more about these women than it can tell us about Jack the Ripper. It's actually a really rare window into their day-to-day -day lives. We can learn about their children, about their husbands and partners. We can learn about where they like to drink and socialize. Um, we even know some of their favorite songs. And for me, that's why the archive on Jack the Ripper is so valuable. What I really hope is that one day our enduring fascination with who Jack the Ripper was can translate into a real concern for women who sell sex in the past and in the present, who are still disproportionately victims of violence and murder, and whose killers and abusers, like Jack the Ripper, are often never brought to justice. And it's for this reason I think it's very important to remember Jack the Ripper.